that as well. Oh, it's like, it was a really long battle with my mom because it runs in the family. Like my grandma yeah. has it, my mom has it. I have I got diagnosed with hypermobility when I was six, so that basically means that all my joints are highly flexible. Which sounds like fun, and it can be, <laughs> but you're in pain 24-7. Like, I, I never uh. have had a day without pain for the past 20 years. Uh. But, you know, you learn to live with it, so it's fine. No, um, chronic pain is never fine. No, no. It, yeah, it's not. But eventually not you're just like, yeah, this is just what it is. That is more it. It's like, uh. it's what it is. I don't see a point of complaining about it. Um, and then for my really bad days, I have diazepam. Oh, but I yeah. only use that like when it's really needed because diazepam, first of all, can be highly addictive and it just puts you in a coma basically for 12 hours straight. Yeah. And I like to stay productive, but yeah. Um, yeah. When I couldn't walk for those days, I definitely was on the diazepam because at one point I was laying in bed and, uh, well, I couldn't lay anywhere else. And my cat just jumped on top of my chest and it tensed everything up in my body and I just screamed and cried in agony and <laughs> my partner running in the room, what's happened? And I'm just like, <laughs> like, no, <laughs> it was, it was not sucks. good. And that was the moment I realized like, mm, yeah, maybe I should go see a doctor again. And then the doctor saw me and she got terrified. She was like, this is not normal for someone your age. Um, yeah. So I'm getting referred to an osteopath and but the waiting list can still be up to a year but still yeah, it's yeah, better yeah. than nothing especially you know? where you live is probably i don't know how, how far in london you live but um um i mean i i just yeah i live in london not in central because i can't be fucked with central like central central <laughs> london yeah. zone one and two i can't be fucked with that it's way too busy but um i mean we we have of course like hospitals it's, it's very easy to go from one place to another yeah. very easy it's, you have all the tubes and the buses. So. It's fucking hard here because I I got hurt in San Diego. Um, and guys, I see your stories about all your broken stuff and I see them. Um, I'm just talking to her, but I'm so sorry these things happen to you. And um, I'm not I'm not avoiding them or, or ignoring you guys. I'm just talking with her. So don't hold it against me if you have to retype it later. Um, um, but one shitty thing. Thank you, Mike, for the hydrate is I got hurt in San Diego so i even drove back yeah. for my 10 10 10 day post op which driving in the car after the surgery hurt like a motherfucker i actually laid down in the yeah. back and i had to take like a uh, hydrocodone just just pass out the whole time but i've tried to get two doctors here just to, to be my ongoing doctor and like every appointment's december 29th january and I need to get an appointment sooner because I need to know what I can and can't do. Um, yeah. Because if, unless somebody tells me no, I'm going to do it. And the same thing with my physical therapist. The other day I was reaching up and apparently I'm not supposed to reach up past my shoulders unless my arms bent. And I really yeah. flared up for three days. I was fucked up. And oh, shit. I went into my physical therapist and they're like, no, you still have like three more months before you're supposed to reach over your shoulders with anything more than a pound. So I'm like, oh, oh no. fuck. That's like, kind of like, you know, when you when you ha when you get your boobs done and you're not allowed to lift your arms above your shoulders for like six to eight weeks. But this is like we're talking about months now. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> I have like no idea when I'm going to be able to do anything, which is so crazy. So. Yeah, because how long is it that you still needed the, the brace? Because you said you needed for like three months. It was right. They they predicted three months. So two more full months. Two and a half more full months, possibly six months, depending on how my bone is healing. It'll take yeah. two full years for my bone to heal, so I can't do any like roller Jesus coasters or Christ. anything for two full years. Um, Not and the I can't. Coasters. Yeah, I can't even do like um, <laughs> I can't do anything where I could risk impact to my to my impact to my shock or shock or anything to my back for like yeah. two years. They said like even like I have a slackline, and they were like definitely no slacklining like. They were like, like even jumping in a pool, they're like, just because like, I guess because I had two and stuff like that, there was so much they had to do back there that they're like, we don't even risk it for two, two full years. And then yeah. um, I found out that whenever there's an extreme temperature drop or temperature change, um, yep, you will feel pain 
like soreness or stiffness because the the metal takes a long time to heat up or cool down so it'll feel like i kind of have um what is that that everybody gets um uh, well like when you're older you get it arthritis so it'll feel like i might have oh, like arthritis arth yeah so yeah. for the rest of my life if the temperatures change or something like that or flying i'm gonna feel like i have arthritis and be like achy which i didn't know that that was like gonna be a thing for the rest of my life which is like really fucking wild yeah that's insane and then like, i mean your back is so incredibly delicate you know if something does happen to it and like what happened is just absolutely ridiculous and and horrible um yeah but girl it's, it, it, it's gonna have an effect on you for the rest of your life and that's just that's just mad how am i ever going to have a, a porno arch ever again yeah the fame the famous one the, <laughs> the famous, famous porno uh, arch move. i'm like oh my god i'm never gonna be able to have a porno i'm never gonna be able to sp spread ass and show my face at the same time it's all been taken away from me god damn it i know the world famous move i know that one yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think i saw that in an interview and what was the interview that you did? Um, oh my god, yeah. The girl, that was the one that I watched. One in the plug with the pile <laughs> yeah. driver. Okay, so. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. So I sent you a picture of what's inside of me. You can't say what it is on stream for. Okay. For, I won't. For purposes. I sent it on WhatsApp, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to send you a picture of my scar, which you can talk about my scar, which is totally fine. Oh, damn. I know, right? That's, that's insane. I'm metal. <laughs> I'm like full metal. And then look at my fucking scar, bro. This is crazy. God damn. That is massive. But I mean, is it something like depending of course on your scar tissue how it will heal as well? Like, yeah, it's, no, it's uh, a, it's a lot. It's it, it's healing really nicely. So I've been putting okay, vitamin E on good. it like three three times a day. Damn, that's insane. Man, prodigal man child, I forget that. We were scared you wouldn't be able to walk again. I thought for sure I was never going to walk again. They they sat me up after surgery. They sat me up in the hospital bed and they were like, we're going to do mm. PT. And all they did was help sit me up. And the fear yeah. that rushed over my eyes. I looked at I looked at Cade, who was with me, and I looked at him dead in the eye with the most sincere sin sincereness I've ever had in my heart. And I looked at him and I was like, I am never going to walk again and I'm not getting out of this bed. And the pain yeah. I felt in that moment, I really believed it. It was so fucking wild. To be fair, that is understanding. Like, I can't even imagine how... Like, I, I know that I can be in pain due to, the, due to the chronic illness, but I can't imagine the amount of pain you must have felt at that point. And I feel like if I were in that situation, I probably would be like, yeah, I'm never leaving the bed nor moving ever again due to that amount of pain so that's fully understandable but see how far you've come in just yeah. such a short period of time it's insane yeah i have a whole that's whole something you can be proud of different appreciation for 